you always ask, how can I install mods, where can I download mods, what's the easiest way to mod Timberbone? And you know what? I'm gonna show you how to do that and more. Let's go. All right, so step number one is to go to mods.io slash g slash Timberbone. And right here, we're gonna first download two mods. The first one is Timberbone API and the second one is Beep in X Pack. Let's get into one of them and right down here you have download files. You do not need account or anything like that. So right now the version is 6.5.0 and last updated seven days. So it's very new version. Let's download that file. There we go and then save it. Let's go back and let's download Beep in X Pack. And the same thing here. Last updated 20 days. So very recently and right down here download file all right so now that we downloaded the files let's go into steam let's right click on the timberborn game and into the property let's go to the installed files and then to the browse all right so here we are now i have the folder where the timberborn is located all the timberborn files and what we are going to do now is open up uh, b pin x so you can use 7-zip, I have nano-zip, and I believe that Windows can open up natively the zip files. We can select all these files, folders and everything, and drag it into the Timberbone folder. Perfect. And now what we're gonna do is actually start the game. You see BPNX is has started, it's doing its thing, it's gonna create a few more folders right now. There we go, and there it is the game has started. We can now exit the game because we're gonna do something with the Timberbone API or the second file we downloaded. Now we have to get into the BPNX folder and into the plugins. Right now it's empty. Let's open up Timberbone API file that we downloaded earlier. Now we're gonna just drag it in like that. Perfect. So now modding is all done. You can go back to the mod IO and just download mods however you want, put them in the plugin folder and run play. But there is one more thing here. If we go into the mod manager and download it and have the mod manager in the plugins folder like that everything will be much more easy let me show you how that works so let's open up or let's start timberbone again now as you can see it's much faster here is everything what's this mod manager let's open it up and this looks exactly like the website as you can see we have filters on the left side with map or mods which update and few more things and the same thing here mods map updates and a lot of other things so mod manager actually makes this whole thing a much easier what i would recommend you do is choose your update and then download the mods now that you are here let's say you want to install vertical power shafts so you can download it and now it's as you can see there is a check mark on installed there is a check mark on enabled and now there is a button uninstall so now you can disable the mod if you want or just remove it and uninstall it that's all good and when you close it up the game will ask you to reboot so it can load all the mods you have downloaded recommendation here especially when you're starting off is to download all the mods you want and then reboot and play the game so let's quit launch timberbone again here we are back to the mod manager and one really nice thing is you can go into the options at the bottom and check installed and you will see all the maps and the mods you have installed as you can see i have a few maps and the power shaft mod we have installed just minutes ago it's that easy and it works really well and the best thing about this is up here you have you have one updates available so the mods will automatically check or the mod manager will automatically check if there is a newer version of the mod and it will allow you to update it like that see how easy it is you'll be done in five minutes max thanks so much for watching check out the update 5 video right here see you next time